About 95% of the body's creatine is stored in the muscles, mainly in the form of phosphocreatine. The other 5% is found in the brain and testes. When you supplement, you increase your stores of phosphocreatine. This is a form of stored energy in the cells. It helps your body produce more of a high-energy molecule called adenosine triphosphate ATP. ATP is often called the body's energy currency. When you have more ATP, your body can perform better during exercise. Creatine also alters several cellular processes that lead to increased muscle mass, strength, and recovery. How does creatine work? In high-intensity exercise, its primary role is to increase the phosphocreatine stores in your muscles. Your body can then use the additional stores to produce more ATP, the key energy source for heavy lifting and high-intensity exercise. Creatine also helps you gain muscle in the following ways. 2. Improved cell signaling. It can increase satellite cell signaling, which aids muscle repair and new muscle growth. 1. Raised anabolic hormones. Studies note a rise in hormones, such as IGF-1, after taking creatine. 1. Increased cell hydration. Creatine lifts water content within your muscle cells, which causes a cell volumization effect that may play a role in muscle growth. 1. Reduced protein breakdown. It may increase total muscle mass by reducing muscle breakdown. 1. Lower myostatin levels. Elevated levels of the protein myostatin can slow or inhibit new muscle growth. 1. Supplementing with creatine can reduce myostatin levels, increasing growth potential. Some older studies found that creatine increased muscle fiber growth two to three times more than training alone. Recent studies have produced more modest results. Still, a large review of the most popular supplements selected creatine as the single most effective supplement for adding muscle mass.